Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 143, reorder list. So you're given the head of a singly linked list. The list can be represented as L0 all the way up to LN, and we need to reorder the list in the following form. So L0 points to LN, points to L1, points to LN minus 1, L2, LN minus 2. Right, so let's not waste any time and dive straight into the walkthrough. So we have this linked list here, right? L0, L1, LN minus 2, LN minus 1, and LN. And we need to create this result, right? So somehow we need to break this so that L0 points to LN, LN points to L1, L1 points to LN minus one, and LN minus one points to LN minus two. So firstly, I'll give you a high level overview of how we're going to solve this. We need to split this into two, right? We need to split at the middle. So this is an odd length linked list. So we're gonna take one, two, and three for the left linked list. And then we're gonna have four and five on the right linked list. We're gonna break this connection. We're going to reverse these two. So five is going to point to four and this is going to point to null. And then we're going to have this linked list on the left-hand side, right? So we have two separate linked lists. Then we combine these two, right? To give us this solution. So that's the high level overview of what we're going to do. So firstly, we need to work out the midpoint within this linked list. And how can we do that? Well, there are a number of different approaches to resolving this, but we're gonna use a fast and slow pointer, also known as the tortoise and hare algorithm. So the fast pointer is going to move twice as fast as the slow pointer. So after the first iteration, fast will be here, slow will be here. Then the second iteration, fast will be here and slow will be here. Now we can say as long as fast.next and fast.next.next are available, then we keep on searching for the midpoint. But as you can see, fast.next is pointing to null. So we have the midpoint, which is slow. So here we can create a reference to this. We'll just call this current, right? Because what we're going to do is we're going to break this. So we need to create a reference so that we can always get to this value within the linked list. So we're going to break this. And this value is now going to point to null. So we've broken the list up into two linked lists. Now we need to reverse this linked list. And if you want an in-depth discussion on how to reverse the linked list, I definitely check out my video on leak code question 206, reverse the linked list. But essentially in order to reverse this, we're gonna have four pointed to five pointing to null. We have current value here. We're going to create a previous value, which we're gonna to set to null. We want to break this point and have it pointing over to this null. But in order to do that, we need to create a temporary variable to five so that we can access this once we've broken this. Let's break this, let's point this to null. Then we update the previous, the current, and the temp points, right? So previous moves to current, current moves to temp. And then we repeat that process. So we wanna break this point and move it here, but we need to create the temp, we break the point, and then we update the pointers. So previous moves to current, current moves to temp. And now we're at a point where current is equal to null. So we've reached the end of reversing this linked list. So now we have these two linked lists. All we need to do is combine them in order to get this output. And we're going to be using pointers throughout this in order to do that. So we're gonna have a H1 pointer pointing to the head of this linked list and a H2 pointer pointing to the head of this linked list. Now, as you can see in the results, the one from H1 is pointing to the value from H2. So we want to break this and have it point to H2. But in order to do that, we need to create a temp variable on two so that we have access to this. So let's go ahead and break that and make the connection. So one points to five, so H1 points to H2. Now we update these pointers. H1 becomes H2, H2 becomes temp. H1, H2. And then we repeat the process. So we create a temp variable at H1.next. So this is going to be here because we are going to be breaking the connection. Five points to two, right? So we need to break this. Five then points to two. Great, then we update these points. So H1 moves to H2, H2 moves to temp. So the next step is to break this point, right? And we want H1 pointing to H2. So we create the temp here, we break this connection, and we make a new connection between H1 and H2. And then we update the points. So H1 moves to H2, H2 moves to temp. Okay, so the final step here, we wanna break this point here. So we'll create a temp here, we'll break that point, and then we'll point four to three. And then we'll update H1, H2, and temp. So H1 moves to H2, and H2 moves to temp. Now, as you can see, H2 is at null, so we can exit this. If we have a look at where these are pointing, well, one is pointing to five, five is pointing to two, two is pointing to four, 
and 4 is pointing to 3, which is ultimately pointing to null. And as you can see, that is the answer we're looking for. So this solution that we just calculated is running at O n, and space is going to be O1 for this. So let's start off by finding the mid. We're going to have a slow and fast pointer, so slow is going to equal head, fast is also going to equal head. And then while fast.next and fast.next.next are available, we're going to update those pointers to slow equals slow.next and fast equals fast.next.next. Once this is run, the slow will be at the middle. So now we can break this linked list. So firstly, we need to create a pointer so that current equal slow.next and then we can say slow.next is equal to null. Now we need to reverse the second linked list. So let's create prev, which is equal to null. And then whilst current is available, we'll create the temp, which is equal to current.next. Current.next is equal to prev. Prev is equal to current and current is equal to temp. Then the final step is to combine these lists. So we're going to have a h1, which is pointing to the head, so the first linked list, and then h2 is going to point to prev, right? And up here, we created prev, we ran through reversing the second linked list, so prev is now going to be pointing to the start of the second linked list. And then like we said in the walkthrough, whilst h2 is available, we need to create a temp variable so that we don't lose the next position of h1. h1.next is going to equal h2. h1 equals h2 and h2 equals temp. So first we find the middle, we break the linked list, we reverse the second list, and then we combine this together. And this should run. So let's give it a go. Submit it. And there you go. 